Hey guys, Micah here with ebikeschool.com. Now a couple of days ago, I was invited to New York City for the launch of the Boosted Rev electric scooter where I got to try it out and write about it for Electrek. So if you haven't read my article with my first thoughts on the Boosted Rev, definitely go check that out. But ever since the launch, I've been seeing all over the place people asking to compare that high power dual motor scooter to other high power dual motor scooters. Specifically, people want to see it compared to the Turbo Wheel Lightning, which is this big boy right here, and the Mercane Wide Wheel, which is this scooter right here. Both of these are in the similar class of scooter. The Boosted Rev is a $1,600 dual motor scooter. This is a $1,700 dual motor scooter. And the Wide Wheel is a bit more affordable at a $1,200 dual motor scooter. So I want to compare these three scooters. I'm going to use six categories, six categories to compare them. Those categories are power, speed, range, build quality, convenience, and comfort. So let's get to comparing these scooters. All right, we'll start with power, where the Turbo Wheel Lightning definitely takes the cake. Next is the Boosted Rev, and then followed by Wide Wheel. There's just no substitute in terms of power for the Turbo Wheel Lightning. It has 2 kilowatts of continuous power and 3.6 kilowatts of peak power. And with a lightweight rider like me, it can do burnouts from a stop. The Boosted Rev is listed at 1.5 kilowatts continuous, and they don't say what the peak power is, but based on my experience in the industry, I'd say it's probably around 2.5 kilowatts peak. It's enough that I practically low-sided it on some slippery subway grates while I was riding around in New York City. The wide wheel is also quite powerful, and it's rated at 1 kilowatt continuous, though again, the peak power is going to be higher, and I estimate it at around 1.5 or even 2 kilowatts of peak power. Same deal here, it's enough power to lose traction on slippery surfaces. All three of these scooters are going to give you a high power experience, but the Turbo Wheel Lightning is alone in giving you insane power. The Turbo Wheel Lightning reigns supreme when it comes to speed. It gets up to 40 miles per hour, which is just insane. It's super fun, but it also kind of scares me. It's stable at those speeds, don't get me wrong, but it's still kind of scary going that fast on a scooter, in my opinion. The Boosted Rev and Wide Wheel get up to 24 and 25 miles per hour, respectively. Both of those are definitely fast enough to have fun on, and are enough for commuting, especially if you stick to bike lanes most of the time. The Turbo Wheel Lightning is enough to get you out on the open road, though, if that's something you're interested in. Range is a tricky one. Since there's no standard for measuring it, and since many companies use methods that overinflate their range, it's often easier to compare battery capacity. Both the Turbo Wheel Lightning and the Mercane Wide Wheel offer 600-ish watt-hour batteries. Boosted doesn't list the exact watt hours of the Rev's battery, but I was talking with the CTO and he told me that it's around 300 watt hours. As stated, the Turbo Wheel Lightning gets 40 miles of claimed range, the Wide Wheel gets 30 miles of range, and the Boosted gets 22 miles of range. But I also know something about the Boosted Rev that most people don't, and that is that they actually don't let the batteries charge all the way, kind of like Tesla. That results in greater actual range and longevity of the battery. I can't tell you how much spare room there is in the Boosted Rev battery, as that info was off the record. But I was very impressed with how much extra headroom they leave in the battery as a safety factor, and it shows that Boosted actually cares about battery health and longevity, similar to Tesla, as opposed to eking out every last bit of range from the battery. When it comes to build quality, Boosted definitely wins here, hands down. The Rev is just incredibly well built. The frame is forged aluminum instead of cast, which makes it stronger. The motors are bulletproofed and are used way under their max ratings. The frame and stem are put through hundreds of thousands of load cycles to ensure they'll basically last forever. The screen is made out of scratch-resistant material, etc, etc, etc. The list just goes on. When people ask why the boosted Rev costs $1,600, a big part of the answer is that it's simply higher quality. It just is. Now the Mercane Wide Wheel and the Turbo Wheel Lightning are still very good scooters. They're well made, don't get me wrong, but while they are good scooters, the Boosted Rev is a great scooter, and when it comes to build quality and longevity, it'll last you years and years. When it comes to comfort though, I'd actually put the Boosted Rev at the bottom of the pack. Again, it's not bad, it's more comfortable than any other non-suspension scooter I've ridden, especially cheaper ones like the GoTrax, Xiaomi, etc but it's still a non-suspension scooter. 
The fat, three-inch tires make smooth roads comfortable, but potholes and really rough roads still make for a bumpy ride. The suspension on the Mercane wide wheel is very nice, and it's definitely an improvement, but there's no way anyone is beating the Turbo Wheel Lightning stool suspension. You could practically run over a cat and not even notice on this thing. There's more to comfort than just suspension, though. The Boosted Rev and the Turbo Wheel Lightning both have nice wide decks, which helps you feel more stable while you're riding. The Lightning is a really high deck, though, and I kind of prefer the low deck on the Boosted Rev. I feel like when you're lower to the ground, you just feel more stable. The wide wheel has a fairly narrow deck compared to the other two. It's fine for me when I'm riding around, and I wouldn't complain that it's too small, but it is smaller than the other two. The Boosted Rev and the Turbo Wheel Lightning both have nice wide handlebars as well that are more like mountain bike handlebars, and that really makes you feel comfortable when you're going fast. The last thing you want at high speed is to have a twitchy handlebar. Out of all the scooters, the wide wheel folds into the smallest footprint and also has folding handlebars, which make it easier to stash under a desk or in tight places. It is also the lightest weight scooter of the bunch, at 45 pounds. The Boosted Rev is actually only a little bit heavier at 46 pounds, and I think the Boosted Rev probably has the nicest folding mechanism I've ever seen. It folds with just one hand, which is great when you're trying to film it by holding a camera in your other hand. And the 46 pound weight isn't terrible, I can still lift it pretty easily with one hand, and I'm not even a big dude. The Turbo Wheel Lightning is quite heavy though, at 77 pounds. It folds, which is convenient, but it's not a one-handed lift kind of situation. You need two hands to pick it up from either side, since the stem does not lock in the down position, and you kind of have to deadlift it up. This is basically just for lifting it into a car or something. I would not want to walk around holding this beast over long distances. So there you have it. That's how I stack up these three electric scooters against each other. Now they're all wonderful scooters, and I would be more than happy to ride any of them any day of the week, but each one has their own pros and cons, so you have to figure out which one of those is best for you. And of course, there are always going to be scooter haters out there that say, what the heck, why would I spend $1,500 when I can get the same thing for $300? But obviously those are your standard ignorant YouTube commenters that don't understand that a scooter with five times the power and built to last much longer might be a little more expensive than a cheap disposable $300 scooter. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, last but not least, let's announce the randomly chosen commenter from the giveaway from my last video. And the winner is... Stuart Cannon. So congratulations, Stuart. Let me know which one of my books you'd like. I have books on building your own batteries, on solar power projects, building your own e-bikes, and most recently on electric motorcycles. So let me know where to send it. And everybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books, all you have to do is put a comment below this video and hopefully you're chosen at the end of my next video. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time.